any One Piece fans, I think we've been blessed. Blessed because our main character is amazing. Luffy is already king. Not because he's the main character and that's his fate, destiny, or he's Joy Boy and he already lived his adventure. None of that. The reason why Luffy is already king is because he's already ruled over the most important thing, which is himself. Luffy understands exactly who he is and today we're gonna understand how he lives. Luffy is a conqueror, Luffy is an alpha male, but what he does isn't really that complex. So today I actually wanna put you guys in a scenario, like imagine living 30 days, just 30 days like Luffy. If you're doing this in the beginning of the month, make sure that you pay all your bills, right? And then you shower every day as well. But beside that, after you do all the necessary stuff, Imagine 30 days like Monkey D. Luffy. 30 days of living in the absolute present. Tomorrow is not your problem. You talk to absolutely who you want, when you want, strangers or friends, it doesn't matter. You wake up like today could be your last son, but more importantly, you go for what you want. It is as early as episode one that Luffy announces his grand dream of becoming the Pirate King to Kobe in front of him. And at that very moment, Kobe immediately tries to dissuade him. How could he not? Most people, we hate to admit it, but we would be Kobe in that situation. Even if we don't do it on purpose, when we love somebody, when we care about them, we tend to keep them grounded for their own sake, to protect them. And if there's no ideas or clues of success around them, we're gonna make sure that they're gonna stay on the safest path. Because yes, we understand that everybody who's accomplished something great for themselves or their legacy, at some point they had absolutely nothing. We do know that, but that's one in a million, right? And the person next to me, no, they're too close to me to be that one in a million. Absolutely not. If it's not me, it can't be them. And we tend to do some projection. That is exactly what Kobe was doing to Luffy in that moment. Now Luffy's response, Luffy's response was just perfect. He literally punches him, which is the appropriate reaction if you ask me. Like you, who I don't even know. How dare you try to lower my ambition? Do you, do you know who I am? Do you know who you're talking to? Why I love Luffy so much is that he understands right away from episode one. No one else is gonna do it for him. The world owes him nothing. No Iruka sensei, nobody to tell him you can do this. Luffy understands that he has to be his own cheerleader because at the end of the day, he's alone. He came in this world alone and he's going to die alone. That's what's up. So you either get with the program or you get the F away from me because I know what your energy around me. And guess what? By the end of the episode, well, Kobe is on board. And I will actually do you one better. Luffy was so charismatic that now Kobe believes in his own dream. You see, in life, you're gonna run into a lot of people and sometimes you're either gonna take from somebody's negative and pessimistic view on life or if you are very motivated and you know how to speak about your ambition, you're not faking it, you actually believe in it, then you might be the person that's gonna affect them. And if nobody wants to meet in the middle, you're gonna have to keep it pushing. Kobe gets on board with the program and that pretty much represents all of Luffy's circle. From Zoro to Usa, people who also believe that his bigger than life ambition is possible, which perfectly reflects why his crew is so small compared to any other big crew like Don Krieg or Kaido. Like just think about how many beast powers actually turn around in the middle of the war. This is not happening with Luffy. It's actually just like in our own world, right? Never let the clout get into your head, right? And keep your circle small because them same people who help you going up are exactly the same people who are gonna bring you down, right? So you can never, never get too comfortable, get behind numbers and feel like you're bigger than life. No, numbers is not what's going to determine one's value. And Luffy understands that. This is why he's requesting for 10 people, not a whole grand fleet. And naturally it happens, naturally it happens, but this is just a benefit. Having the fleet was never Luffy's ambition. This is just the aftermath of being who he is, which ultimately is the apex predator, right? The alpha male, the king. Luffy is a man who's gonna ask for forgiveness, not permission. He's not waiting for anybody. As I've said before, he knows who he is. He is his own best friend. He treats everyone the same, which is one of his greatest qualities. He sees deeper than race. He sees deeper than sex, age. From Nami to Momo to Sanji, Luffy holds everybody to the exact same standard, which is very, very high. And he doesn't care if he's not gonna get liked, right? This is why when Luffy meets somebody, oftentimes they're gonna bicker a lot. Frankie, Sanji, Momo, he doesn't care. If you like me, if you don't, I'm gonna give you my truth because that is who I am. A man who has completely mastered the art of not giving a freak. He will present his best self and be the rock in anyone's life in times of need and crisis and completely destroy anyone who dares stand between him and his dream or cause problems to his friend. But careful now, Luffy is not a hero. He is not trapped by some type of moral code. He is a pirate. In other words, he is free. He is the embodiment of liberation and happiness. He lives a contagious life who will crack up the most toic of devils. He is the ruler of rulers and when you sum it up, you pretty much find out that he's just a man who lives his truth, cares about his own goals, believes in them, and doesn't let anyone tell him that he cannot do anything. At the end of the day, he's going to be there for you because Luffy practices 
reciprocity in his own ways. And because he couldn't care less about anybody else's judgment of him, Luffy keeps his child heart. This is why Luffy is so childish. This is why Luffy gets so excited like a child when he sees a toy or a robot. Luffy doesn't care. He doesn't care about what people can expect of him. So again, imagine living 30 days like Luffy. What type of people will you attract? How much anxiety will leave your body and how far will you get in life? The timing of this video is actually perfect because I think we are 8 or 9 days away from the new year. Try it out. Seek outside of your comfort zone for the first 30 days of the year and come back to this video. Let me know how it went and I will actually read what you have to say because remember guys, the One Piece is real and you can absolutely embody his protagonist. If you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Holla back.